So today we're going to show you how to turn ground chicken into Antonio's lemon pasta with chicken dumplings and hopefully it turns out delicious. So we're going to get started uh, preparing our dumplings or meatballs if you will. Um, we're going to start with 350 grams of ground chicken or minced chicken uh, which is just under a pound. And to that we're going to add two eggs whisked. So we'll go ahead and add that. Alrighty, set that aside. And then breadcrumbs. That was roughly maybe oh, just half a slice of bread that we just used a regular grater to get the crumbs. Um, next we will be adding the garlic. Okay. And that is one clove of garlic that has been peeled and crushed. Okay, got that right there on top. Mm -hmm. And we are going to add some parsley, that is fresh parsley. Okay, and we'll add that to our mixture. And that Alrighty. is just um, two tablespoons of fresh parsley that has been finely chopped. And then we have our basil leaves. Which we're going to tear into tiny strips or relatively tiny, as tiny as I personally can make them. Yeah, and then we have washed and dried the basil leaves as well as the parsley. Okay, now that we've got our basil um, into strips and into the mixture, we're going to go ahead and add nutmeg. Yeah, and we're just going to give it a few grates um, right into our mixture there. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, now the only thing that remains is to mix that together. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that. Now in the recipe, Antonio doesn't actually specify whether the chicken should be cooked or not, um, like before you make the mixture. Um, we just assumed that it was not going to be cooked, so it will cook when we fry them in the skillet. But it, rest assured, it will be cooked. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, form our meatballs now. And we'll move on to the next step. You know what? These this is not a good mixture. It's not. It's hard. It just seems a little soupy. No, that's perfect. Okay, so we ended up adding another two slices of bread. So in total, we actually used two and a half slices of bread turned into breadcrumbs, and they are holding well, that, their shape now. They did seem to do the trick. Um, it seems to be working now. Or maybe um, Antonio actually used cooked chicken, and that actually might have made a big difference. Maybe the size of our eggs were a little too much. It, it doesn't matter. We've got it rocking and rolling now, I think. Okay, so we are going to take a break while we shape our little dumplings. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn our skillet on. Let that get hot a little bit. And we're going to add how much olive oil? 60 milliliters of olive oil. Okay, now that our oil is heating up, we're going to go ahead and add our dumplings. So the recipe is written for um, a pasta called Faglolini, I believe. Um, it does say that you could also substitute angel hair pasta or fettuccine, which I don't know what the fettuccine is. So we got some angel hair pasta. We are bringing our water to a boil. And then once our dumplings are close to being done, we'll start cooking the angel hair pasta because it literally takes maybe three to four minutes to get that done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip these over. And I think my weapon of choice is going to be a little spoon here. It seems to be doing the job pretty well. Mm, and these are looking good. And they're smelling great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a little bit of a rough start there with the mixing and the shaping, but I think we're back on track. Okay, we've gone ahead and covered this with a lid just to ensure that you know the, the meatballs are going to be nice and, and done, or the dumplings rather. Yeah, just to make sure that the inside gets nice and cooked and not just the outside mm -hmm. being brown. We don't want to eat raw chicken. <laughs> Nobody likes rare chicken. Well, no. most everybody. Okay, I think our final batch of dumplings is ready. They all look fantastic, a very nice color. Okay, our pasta is cooked and we have our skillet there that still has the residue of the little bits and pieces of the meatballs um, that, we, that we fried as well as a little bit of oil in there. 
So to that we are going to add the rind of one lemon and the juice of half of the lemon. Okay, so we'll add the juice of one lemon. It's half a lemon. Half a lemon. And the rind of half a lemon or whole of lemon? one full lemon. One full lemon. Oh, wow. Oh, just that little bit of sauce there. It smells fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're going to put the dumplings in and then we'll add our pasta. Dumplings first? Mm hmm Okay, so we'll go ahead and add those to the pan or re-add them to the pan. Yeah, so that they can heat through a little bit as well while we put the pasta in. The only thing that remains is to mix that together. Okay. Um, if needed, we'll be adding a little bit of the pasta water. Yeah, I better leave that here. So we'll just toss that together so we can get the pasta coated nicely with the juices there in the pan. So we'll get just about a ladle full. Okay. And that really is all there is to it. Um, once it is heated through, we are going to plate it up and sprinkle some Parmesan cheese over it. Oh, and this is a very nice looking dish. And then we are ready to do the taste test. Mm, mamma mia! Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, the moment of truth is here and now. So yeah, we were off to a little bit of a rough start. Mm -hmm. Mm. The pasta. Mm. Very nice the, light lemon mm. flavor from the pasta. The pasta is fantastic. Mm. Very nice tender little dumplings. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. The flavors from the dumplings really come through. You can they taste do. the basil and the nutmeg and they go really well together. Mm. Um, as usual, Antonio has a home run here. Yep. So if you are ever at a loss with what to do with your ground chicken, give this a try. This is delicious. Mm. You won't be disappointed. Mm. That's for sure. Mm. Fantastic. So, with that, we're saying goodbye. I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Enjoy. Fantastic. Mm. Wow. <laughs>